Hello everyone, it's Judy and you welcome to Smart Voice Series. The Mi Band 8 succeeds the Mi Band 7 and like its predecessor, the Mi Band 8 will track your steps, calories, stress, blood oxygen, heart rate and of course your sleep in all four stages of sleep. So guys, I have been getting a lot of questions on whether the Mi Band 8 is an accurate sleep tracker. To answer that question, I had to wear the Mi Band 8 alongside the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and the Huawei Band 8. And from my test, I can authoritatively say that the Mi Band 8 has been very consistent and accurate in tracking my total sleep duration. However, since an electroencephalogram wasn't applied in my test, I cannot actually say if the Mi Band 8 is accurate in tracking the time spent in the various stages of sleep. An EEG which tracks the brain activity during sleep is the only way to accurately determine if a device is a good sleep tracker. From the result I have here, if you look at the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, it is 3 hours and 37 minutes. That's the total sleep duration. For the Huawei Band 8, it is 3 hours 41 minutes. And for the Mi Band 8, it is 3 hours 41 minutes. So you can see that we have very similar results as far as sleep duration is concerned. However, if you look at the time spent in the various stages of sleep, that is where you begin to have a very um, great discrepancies among the different devices. For the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, surprisingly, it says I spent zero minutes in the deep stage. For the Huawei Band 8, it is one hour and um, zero minutes. And for the Mi Band 8, it is one hour, 28 minutes. In the live stage for the Mi Band 8, it is 1 hour 36 minutes. For the Huawei Band 8, it is 1 hour 52 minutes. And for the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, it is 2 hours 49 minutes. So you can see that we have a very varying results as far as the time spent in the various stages of sleep is concerned. Again, on the second night for the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, it is 5 hours 43 minutes. For the Huawei Band 8, it is 5 hours 47 minutes. And for the Mi Band 8, it is 5 hours 47 minutes. Again, you can see we have very close results as far as the total sleep duration is concerned. But the time spent in the various stages of sleep varies greatly amongst the different devices. On the third night for the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, it is 6 hours. And for the Huawei Band 8, it is 5 hours 59 minutes. With the Mi Band 8, it is 6 hours, 3 minutes. So you can see that we are having very close results as far as the total sleep duration is concerned. On the fourth night, for the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, it is 5 hours, 58 minutes. For the Huawei Band 8, it is 5 hours, 15 minutes. And for the Mi Band 8, it is 5 hours, 59 minutes. So you can see that based on my results, I had to come to the conclusion that the Mi Band 8 is very consistent and accurate in tracking my total sleep duration. However, since EEG wasn't applied in this test, I cannot say if the device is accurate in tracking the time spent in the various stages of sleep. To track your sleep with the Mi Band 8, you need to Toggle on a few settings, open the Mi Fitness app and go to device. Now navigate to sleep and toggle on advanced monitoring. This will allow the Mi Band 8 to monitor your heart rate and track your REM sleep during sleep. And you also need to toggle on breathing score. Okay, this is actually in the beta version for now, but I think this is a very good um, feature to toggle on. This will allow the device to monitor your breathing rate during sleep. And this could be a way to determine if you are experiencing sleep apnea. After your night's sleep, when you wake up in the morning, the Mi Band 8 shows your sleep stats right on the device. If you go to the sleep app on the device, you will see your total sleep duration. Okay, this is my sleep duration for last night and this is 6 hours 54 minutes. It shows the time you started sleeping, the time. Okay, and if you scroll down further, you should see the time spent in the various stages of sleep. And if you scroll down even further, 
you should also see your average heart rate for the previous night sleep and of course you should also see your average blood oxygen for the previous night sleep so guys that is it for this video if you find this video helpful give me a thumbs up if you've not subscribed smash the subscribe button right now and do not forget to turn on the notification bell to always get updates from me whenever i upload a video like this until next time guys goodbye